But we'll start right here in Lincoln, Baylor and Nebraska. The Bears, number 24 in the nation, beginning the week, taking on the Huskers. Ale! 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 The 24th ranked Bears enter a proverbial trap game at Nebraska. And making matters tougher, senior point guard Tweedy Carter is battling a severe illness. Nevertheless, the Bears get out to a quick 5-0 lead. Udo to Lomers, nice pass, and Lomers flushes it. It's a tightly contested first 20 minutes with neither team leading by more than five. Diane Jones flying in and he dunks it. Defense dominates the first half with Nebraska shooting 34% and Baylor just 35%. Lace Dunn leads the Bears offensively, scoring 11 of his game-high 19 before the break. But tipped in by Lace Dunn. The Bears trail 27-23 at halftime, however. Baylor continues to grind through the gritty game thanks to stingy defense and Dunn's dynamic play on the offensive end. Dunn drives, his shot will roll in, and he's fouled. Meanwhile, Carter fights through his illness to key an 8-0 run midway through the second half that sees Baylor go from three down to up by five after he sinks a three. Tweedy will fire a long three. Oh, and he hit it from the right side. Man. Tweet is a warrior. I, mean, I, I love him like a brother, but uh, like you say, seeing him down and like that and knowing he just can't bring us everything to the table, we all knew the other four that we knew we had to step it up to another level, but uh, Tweedy came out and did a great job of just, just giving us what he had. Unbelievable gut check by Tweedy Carter. Uh, did a great job, left it all out on the, uh, on the court. Baylor's defense makes life miserable for the Huskers holding Nebraska to 28% from the floor in the second half. The Bears block nine shots, including six by Epe Udo. Shot no good, blocked under there by Epe Udo. You win with defense and rebounding, and right now we were 31%. We held them defensively, man and zone, tremendous job. And then uh, 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 we got rebounded them 39-28. Udo grabs nine boards while scoring eight points, including this NBA-esque move. Fade away, 10-footer is good That's by Epe Udo. The Huskers are pesky, though, breaking a 50-50 tie with this three-pointer with 2.22 remaining. It's 53-52 in the final minute when the Bears get a huge defensive stop. They quickly come down on the offensive end and get the ball in the paint to Udo. Lace done to Epe Udo. Udo backing in on Diaz. Hook shot, good by Epe Udo. Bears lead by one, 54-53. Tried to give him a little break in that second half so he could finish strong, and uh, he made the big made the big shot. And I uh, loved it because he went to the jump hook, and his jump hook's very, very nice. Big time players, you know, make big time players. And, you know, that's why I see myself as. Baylor leads by one with time winding down, and the Bears hold off the Huskers yet again. It is no good. Rebound Quincy AC. We know we're ready to grind. You know, grinding, that's our motto. We have to do that every night. You know, if it's not, it's not going in, we've got to get stopped. Quincy AC goes to the free throw line and hits one of two putting Baylor up by two, but Nebraska still has one last chance. Nebraska's last stand right here, five and a half seconds to go. Jeter stripped to the ball, he gets it back, he fires a three, it's blocked by AC and the Bears win! A block by Quincy AC, and Baylor wins on the road, 55-53 over Nebraska. Quincy AC, I think I'm gonna be getting him high five while we break the Waco for that, for that last stop. We work on closeouts every day and uh, staying on our feet and stuff, so. I just stuck to, my, stuck to the principles that they taught us. Give our guys credit for being down three on the road, two minutes and change to go, not panicking. At the end of the day, a road win in the Big 12 is awful nice.